Hey there, I'm not Dan, but in this video we're going to be learning about the relationship between volume and temperature. It's... When bitter nights are calling, can't find no sleep. Can't you see I'm falling? Oh no. Welcome back. So in this series of videos, basically what we're doing is exploring the variables that affect gas behavior. Now there are four of those variables. You've got pressure, volume, temperature, and number of moles. And in this video, we're going to specifically focus on volume and temperature and how they relate to each other. Now the official term for this particular relationship is Charles Law which says that as temperature goes up, so does volume. Now, obviously you can get a lot more complicated with that, but that's essentially what the law says. Volume and temperature are directly related. And anyone who has seen a hot air balloon knows that this is true, right? So as you increase the temperature of a gas, the gas molecules are going to spread out, fill up the balloon, and you know the balloon rises okay but if you'd like to see this in action then I invite you to come on over here and check out this little demo alright guys to check it out I've got me some boiling water here I've got some ice water right here and a flask with a balloon on top of it um, this is representing our closed system of all the gas molecules that are on the inside they're now trapped they can't get in and out and the balloon is actually going to be our indication of what's happening with these particular gas molecules. So I'm going to start by placing it in the boiling water here. And as you can see, as the temperature goes up, so does the volume. Volume is definitely increasing. But then when I take it out and submerge it in the ice water, temperature is dropping and it has the exact opposite effect to where now the volume is also going down. I know it's a little harder to see because this is a much slower process but eventually and there it goes. The balloon drops down. So there you go. That's Charles Law. As, volume, or as temperature goes up so does volume. When temperature goes down volume follows suit. It is a direct relationship. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any further questions, please be sure to comment below. And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. You get all sorts of really cool videos. All right, thanks a lot, guys. I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later.